What's up everybody, it's Coach Kev coming back to you guys with another reaction video. Today I'm going to react to Skip Bayless and Shannon Sharp um, debating to see if Dennis Rodman would be able to guard LeBron James. So Dennis Rodman said that he would be able to lock LeBron up. So they're going to argue over it. So we'll listen to it and then we'll pick a side at the end. All right. Like, comment, subscribe. I got Kobe here on my side. Mama mentality forever. Let's get to the video. Skipping Shannon debating. Can Dennis Rodman lock up LeBron James? So, so Shannon's making good points. That it, I always believe that too. That a great offensive player is always going to be the great defensive defensive player because it's always that. My point is always coming from you play good D and you oh, you always hear that like oh that's great D good D and then he still makes the shot or he still hits the basket because he's just it's just a better offensive shot or better offensive player whatever he has more offensive skills. So I always believe that too that. The offense will always win. A defense can make it tougher on you, but a better offensive player, you're just going to... You can make tough shots and make big shots like that. All Chamberlain did was average was 28 and 28. And for over 100, and for over 100 plus games, Will Chamberlain was 28 points, 28 rebounds. That's what he averaged against Russell. Is that shutting down? Because I guarantee you, if a guy averaged 28 and 28 right now, he's going to win the MVP. Every year, no matter what his record is, if he puts up those kind of numbers. So, no, Dennis Rodman out of his mind, which he probably was, <laughs> when he made that statement. Dennis Rodman. Yep. So, as you can tell, Shannon's point is that, no, he can't guard LeBron because LeBron has put up buckets against great defensive players already, as you've seen, and that this, that, like, the players, as they evolve, they get stronger Faster, more athletic, better shoes. So, 
that's his point and see if we agree. Let's see what Skip has to say. Was not just a good, he was a great defender. And I want the kids out there in, in our viewer land to look beneath the wild hair colors that you're seeing on Last Dance and beneath the nose rings and the nail polish and all the stories about Madonna and Carmen Electra, Dennis Rodman was rare. He was special in ways I've never seen anybody be special. And when he says he could shut down LeBron, I believe he would make life miserable for LeBron at his defensive peak. And I'm talking about with the bad boy Pistons. Yes, he would have caused huge problems for LeBron James. And Dennis Rodman at 6'8", had extremely high basketball IQ on par with LeBron's, except Dennis's was defensive and rebounding IQ. He was sly, smart in ways I've never seen before a defensive rebounding player be. He was a below the rim rebounder. He was not a, an explosive leaper, but he was very quick on his feet and he always beat you to the spot on defense and under the basket for the, the care for how the ball was going to bounce. Because let's be honest about this. LeBron didn't have that cat quickness that Michael Jordan had. Michael could separate. They can bake you and separate from you in, in a flash. And LeBron has never had that. And he said he has only one move. Well, I, what have I always said about LeBron? Greatest attacker of the basket I've ever seen. But it's very simple because it's just straight head, straight line explosion. So, I agree with Skip with Ted too. That's a great point. LeBron has no moves. He does. He just bullies his way to the rim. I, and I'm not hating against LeBron. No, LeBron is great, but he has no real skill. Like his his he, all he does is play pretty much football. He just puts his head down and then just stronger and more athletic and just bumps you off and gets to the basket. Like his when he tries to do shaky stuff, stuff like that he looks mad robotic, robotic and crazy. But I definitely agree with Skip with that that. That he had, he doesn't have that Kevin Durant ish, Kobe ish, Michael Jordan ish, Tracy McGrady ish. You know what I mean? That. I mean. He's not gonna fake you off your feet. He's not going to, so to speak, make you miss. He's not going to blow by you because you're fooled. He's just gonna freight train past you and beat you with strength and then skill at the basket because LeBron is ambidextrous left or right handed at the basket and has great touch at the basket. All right, so <sighs> who do I go with, Skip or Shannon? So for me, uh, I think I'm gonna have to side with Skip on this one. I think Rodman can be a LeBron. Like he would just, you could back off a little bit. And I think Rodman has a very, very, like Skip said, high IQ, basketball IQ, knowing where to force him, which way to force him, to let him shoot, to kind of get in his head, like how he used to do with Karl Malone and stuff like that, like tangle with him, push him around, stuff like that. So I think that would benefit Rodman. And I believe that Rodman would lock LeBron up. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you think that Dennis Rodman would be able to lock up LeBron James both at the height of their careers? Till next time, Coach Kev, Purpose Driven, and I'm out. Peace.